freshman year in high school and being new in town I guess everybody should know it's hard especially new school and I guess I tried to fit in with everybody and after a couple of weeks uh, people started making fun of me bullying me and then someone decided to come up with a rumor saying I made a hit list now I'm sure everybody knows what that is and the principal decided to not go into it and said, you know what, you're out of school. So they didn't investigate the rumors to no. be true or false? They uh, believed the rumor. They never decided to thoroughly go through it. Never fight another day And sometimes when they set me up I long to be Okay, so what you're saying is the principal did not investigate whatsoever. They just assumed that the person starting the rumor was accurate and credible. And so you were then uh, in trouble, big trouble, because they called the police, didn't they? Yes, and uh, most one something that's really embarrassing is getting accused for it, but not just that, but having the police show up at your house and they're going through everything because of a rumor. So, therefore, I believe that rumors deteriorate people and their self-confidence. So, when you were going through that, um, I believe you've had to physically even, you were expelled from school immediately, correct? Yes, I was. You were kicked off of the soccer team, right? Yes, I was. I was not allowed to try out or anything. And you had to switch schools? I did. Even after being found innocent, correct? Take me from this killing room Oh, hurry boys, I've had my day Leave me now to fade away oh, At your lowest point, I, you know, your mom has told me before that, that you journaled and that some of the things in the journaling were really, really hard for her to read and to hear. So can you can you tell us t about your lowest points being bullied? Well, after all the I guess drama occurred. Right. Before I came to uh, Dogs Deserve Better, I sort of fell into a deep depression. And I mean, some people say, oh, with depression you get over easily. Not after what you go like an uh, incident where the police show up and then people don't like you anymore or talk to you because they think you're some crazy person who likes to murder people, which is insane. Why do you believe rumors? So I started cutting myself and I guess just felt like life wasn't worth it anymore. No more. Oh, I don't want to fight no more. Right about that point in time, I think you started becoming a volunteer at Dogs Deserve Better. And what what did that do for you? I was nervous at first, shy, scary. And I mean, I saw new people and I was just like, let's not talk to them. I didn't know what people knew or didn't know. And frankly, I couldn't trust anybody anymore because I trusted some people and they decided to you know, accuse me of stuff I never did. So the first day it went, I guess it went okay. I still was nervous, scared. And after a while, um, the dogs and I connected really easily and started to bond. My battle scars are scars on scars. They won't let me run. One of my favorite my first dog I treated, or I guess rehabilitated, was Chip. He and I got along quickly because we had a little connection because he'd been abused, and I guess I've been verbally and emotionally abused through school. And it helped me get back on track. And it's me they blame. 
If I could I turn away Never fight another day Now I play three sports. I mean, I do cross country, varsity, basketball varsity, soccer varsity. Uh, I got letters. I mean, I'm doing the whole nine yards. That's nine awesome. Uh, so, what we're trying to to come across with this, I guess, is that um, our rehabilitation center really is not only for the dogs. No. There are a lot of people who go through a lot of heartache and don't know where else to turn, so they come out to the center and they can relate to the dogs because some of our dogs have had very, very terrible lives, but then they go through a transformation and they get in, adopted into loving homes and not not unsimilar to your situation, there's one thing we haven't really talked about and that's your adoption as well. Um, and, and their lives change. So for anyone who is struggling out there, please um, don't just look at Dogs Deserve Better as a rehabilitation center for the dogs. If you need to come out and, and hug on a dog because a human doesn't understand what you're going through, uh, you know, the doors are always open to do that. Oh, hurry, boys, I've had my day. Leave me now to fade away. Cause I don't want to fight no more. But I To show you one of those dogs right now, and that's Delilah. This is Delilah. Uh, Delilah, Delilah, and I. Uh, this is the same. She's a pit bull, and I mean, everybody says, "Oh, pit bulls are vicious." Oh, pit bulls are vicious. We both have hearts and scars. Um, her ears, as hopefully you can see, were illegally cut, and right now she's healing from her physical scars, as I am my mental and emotional and physical. And in a week she's actually going to be adopted, hopefully. I know what you're doing. So but it's not really, it's not really that much different. You know, people stereotype pit bulls and, uh -huh. and start rumors and give them a bad rap when a lot of them are not bad and they're wonderful, but nonetheless they're judged just like you were. But um, as Delilah is a testament going to her new home next week, you know, people and animals can be rehabilitated with one another's help. And so in this case, um, a bully helped someone who'd been bullied to recover. And that's the beautiful thing about Dogs Deserve Better. I don't want to fight no But I am a growling gun My battle scars are scars on scars They won't let me run It's true I bite and kill and maim It's all I know this fight and game through very small I learned it all And it's me they blame 